And it's been a staple of this community over the last several years, and it's not going away anytime soon. The NCAA announced this afternoon the first four is staying put in Dayton at least through 2018. Dayton had already secured the 2015 first four, but this decision makes UD Arena the host for at least three more years beyond that. Sioux Falls, South Dakota also bid on the first four. UD Arena has hosted more NCAA tournament games than any other venue, and winning this bid's a huge deal for Dayton. Last year's first four pumped $4.6 million into the local economy. But beyond that, it's also a huge win for UD's program. It just keeps the city of Dayton, it just keeps the basketball um, on the forefront of everybody's minds. Um, you know, this is a basketball town, whether it's cheering for us or whether it's not. I think it's also really good for the university to have the NCAA um, initiate college basketball's biggest moment um, in Dayton. And uh, there's a reason it keeps coming back. Meanwhile, the Flyers get to get out of this cold weather. Lucky them. UD will make its way down to Puerto Rico for the tip-off tournament, which begins Thursday morning. The Flyers will open up with Texas A&M. Tip-off for that game is at 10.30 in the morning. Poor guy.